Arimai, Tenakoto, greetings to all and welcome to your December 2014 Tarot Astrology Reading with me. Now obviously this is the last month of the year for 2014. It's also the birthday month for Sagittarius and for the beginning of Capricorn. And it's the last chance we all have to utilize the specific vibration of the year 2014. Now the number of that vibration is a seven. Sevens tend to be more of an internalizing sort of a year. A year where we often find ourselves, where we analyze, where we sometimes cocoon, where we try possibly to shed negative behaviors or patterns that could be preventing growth for us. It's a year that favours that work on self-improvement and even possibly operations or counselling or therapy or higher education for yourself. So as we are moving out of 2014 and slowly bringing in the new vibration of 2015, which is an 8. This is part of the changes we feel as a year ends and our new year begins. So... They're powerful, the beginnings and endings of years, because they bring in this new vibration into the middle of your own personal cycle. So we often feel a lot of change and adjustment as the years come to an end and begin. Next year, 2015, is going to offer us the vibration of an 8. Now, 8 is actually rather a magnificent vibration. It's like the cycle of life. It's that double circle constantly spiraling the ever-turning symbolic feeling of the cosmic meeting of life spirituality and connectedness it's a year that can bring in good health wealth and abundance it can be a time for new businesses new homes new jobs people may find you attractive and you might just feel as though you have that extra support from the universe to guide you in the right direction for some positive vibrations. So all round, the eight vibration is a slightly more outgoing and uplifting than the seven vibration, which can be, as I said, very internalizing. So anyhow, guys, that was just a little introduction for you for the rest of your tarot reading. We'll be doing four cards and we will have your higher vibrational energy card at the end. So let's get on to it. So Pisces, welcome to your December 2014 reading with me. Last reading of the year in this vibration of seven until we move on to this new energy of eight. We are going to be doing four cards. Relationship and love is the first. Home and personal is the second. Finances and career is the third. And health is the fourth. And at the end of this reading, we'll then do the Higher Vibrational Energy card to see what other message you have for support and utilising for the month of December. Okay. Your first card is the Ten of Wands. Your second card is the Eight of Cups. Your third card is the Ten of Cups. And your fourth card is the Ace of Swords. Oh, we're not quite in vision there. Here we are. Seeing quite a lot of aces come out for December, which doesn't surprise me because we're getting ready to move into this new energy of 2015, so we get the new beginnings feeling coming along anyhow. We've got predominantly bluish background, which I often think of as light or, you know, sky-related energies coming in that are a bit supportive for you, and an ace, pretty good. You've got two sets of cups, which deal often with the emotions and... Uh, love type energies, heart chakra stuff, middle of your your chakra energies and we've got the wands over on the side which is your creativity, your, your thought processes, thinking, new energies coming in. We'll start from the beginning which is the relationship and love and we see here the ten of wands and we see this guy carrying what it seems to be a bit of a heavy burden on his shoulders as if he feels He's a bit burdened down and um, heavy, weighted down by it. He's, he's worried. But the thing is, it, you're 
you have got the burden of a few things on your shoulder and then they may be other people's energies as well as maybe your own thoughts or a situation that you could be in. Remember this could be referring to any relationships here. It could be, you know, work relationships, family, siblings, friends, any love relationship. It could be anything. But the good thing about this is there's a creative energy in the wands that can help to resolve any issues that you have. And as well, you actually are able to, you're walking forward, so you're going in a forward direction to resolve the burden that you feel that you're carrying. And you've got them all contained within and around you as if to say, I'm going to deal with this one at a time, starting at number one, working through to number ten, and we will get through it and we will take it logically step by step and we will push them and we'll go forward moving ahead with this with the wands with the new growth on them with some help and support creativity coming in to resolve the issue so if we think about it from the perspective of of this guy feeling as if he has a burden on his shoulder it may be that you're someone your friend or partner or whoever it is that's involved in this relationship that may have this energy coming through feels as though they're in a tough spot at the moment and you're the one helping them out. So again, if we look at it positively, it's the gift of giving, of helping someone in support who actually needs it. And your shoulders are actually strong enough to take that and be the person who offers the support. So you can be, you know, looked upon as this gift that someone else really needs your help and inspiration and ideas and your shoulders to take them through to the next spot. Often that is the feeling I get with this. It's more about, not so much about you, but about someone else that you're offering support to as well. And yes, it can be about your situation, but as I say, I feel that you balance it out and you have got the energy and the strength to get through it and resolve it in the best possible manner. Now, if we look at this card here, the Eight of Cups in terms of home and um, relationships or home and personal we see that he's actually walking away so that this can be a card of leaving things behind and it can be situations or physical things such as a house or something that you actually leave behind for one reason or another there is a little bit he's not really looking back as he walks away it's almost as if he's saying i've got to make this move i actually have to do it behind me i have all that i experienced all that i learned all that i loved and i know i carry it forward in my heart so he's moving forward to newer challenges and new places he may be not quite ready to move forward so this could be a time when you acknowledge that you need to make a change and move forward in one area or another and it can be new houses or shift of home and it might be even a shift away from the area that you would normally live and you might be thinking oh, I'm really going to miss my friends or you know I'm going to miss my little things that I love about this place or this area but know that it's positive and that it's you're going towards happier times not necessarily happier but you're going towards a good space anyhow and that you carry with you in your heart all the things that you think you're leaving behind because in essence it's all about memories and who we are and the vibration and the energy that we have the physicality of of a building or a or a piece of materialism that's all that really is it's your energy that you either put into it or get out of it that is the more important part. So yeah, sometimes this can be change and moving on, but usually you've crossed the water, you get to the other side and you see greater things, greater challenges and a more intriguing future again. And then when we get to this next card, the Ten of Cups, look at it, it's magnificence, happy, successful, harmony, togetherness, connectedness coming in from the angelic energies of light vibrational coming in and down from the universe supportive nurturing it's, it's such a positive card and this is for your finances and career so you can you can literally see that person standing there going yeah hey you man things are looking good so I feel again I'm, I'm getting so many positive messages 
that December seems to be lighter and brighter than the months before and possibly a lot lighter than November. We know that the planets are taking a bit of a shift around, we're moving out of some of our heavier set planetary energies. So I feel for a lot of people we're going to get a shift into positivity. So this is really quite positive about your finances. If you were in all aspects, so if you might have been approaching for a new job or wanting a change of job, these are opportunities that may come to you now at this time. If you have been short on finances or wanting more financial support in your life, this may come to you at this time. It all feels very basically positive. So there's not a lot of um, negative energies or messages that I'm getting around the finances in any, in any perspective. So if we move on to health and we see this Ace of Swords, it's beginnings again, so it's newness. And the Ace of Swords can often do with thought and clarity and mind things. So if there's one area here for your um, health, I would think it has to do with thoughts or the mind. It could even be something physical like headaches. You might even have a few headaches, literally or um, metaphorically, in the month of December. So if you do, there might be ways that you can look into relieving any pain that comes in through your head for various reasons and you could find this in meditation or um, acupressure or acupuncture various naturotherapy people you can also find that you it's just a relief of tension which you could do even by walking or exercising or changing your thoughts to positivity so you're bringing in positive thoughts for December if, if at any time you feel any you know uncertainty or not sure of the future remember all this positivity and support around you and remember that you do have the strength so that would be the only message I get there for for your health for the month of December basically though the swords are upright they're positive they've got backing coming in for you you know nurturing universal strength and energy you've got the strength in December You've most definitely got the strength to get through anything that you feel, you know, that you were going, oh, wish this hadn't happened or wish this wasn't cropping up. You can manage it, Pisces. You've got, you know, you're such a deep sign. You can pull on so many resources, probably some that you haven't tapped into for a while either. So that's another message actually about that card. Use your process of thinking. Go really deep. And go within to find your gut feelings on any situations that crop up because you are intuitive psyche you're such a psychic sign and you're so intuitive you can be really connected and pull on many places of resource for your answers in which direction to take or, or what's the right step for you or how to get support or how to offer support so you're a particularly gifted sign in the realm of spirituality so that's a lovely reading for you for the end of December and that moving into January feeling. Let's see what your high vibrational energy is going to be. These beautiful cards with these lovely messages. We'll see what comes up for you. Ah, Raziel, Raziel, have faith kind of matches a few of those little points I brought up earlier and this energy comes from to, so I get the feeling of two places here we've got the kind of purple or the indigo energy which is coming through the mind again exactly what I was saying before you're being supported spiritually at the mind level or that intuitive level is very much that and you've also got some white light protection coming in with that as well open your arms up to the spiritual essence of your being and connect because you have all the answers that you need when you when you take the time to go inner and find that reflection and find your strength from your spirituality and your essence of being you've got the answers so have that faith Pisces you're a wonderful soulful beautiful nurturing spiritually connected sign and you are being looked after and you are being nurtured and loved 
at all levels and have the faith and know that. That is really beautiful because oftentimes we don't have faith. You know, especially for humans, we lose faith very quickly when we're in a situation where there might be any difficulties. We sort of go, oh my God, I don't think I can manage this or I can't get through this or why don't I get more support? You do, you have it all and you can get through anything. Well, Pisces, that's the last reading for um, 2014, so thank you for joining me. I've really enjoyed doing your readings for you, and I appreciate your comments and the fact that you follow me and that you enjoy the readings. I really love that. That's great for me. So thank you very much. I appreciate you, your time and everything. Wishing you much faith for December, much araha. Kia kaha.